Good morning. Back to Novi Sad. He's right here at the back. He's at the back. He can't see me. I'm gonna go outside. What's he doing? No, did he see? It? I don't know. I'm going to say goodbye to you. Oh man. Interesting situation. And you got nervous. I got nervous and we got three bottles of rock here. I was like, I'm going to check on them because I don't want to look like I'm hiding them. I'm going to say all the, you know, this is what we have. Excuse me, sir, may I sit next to you? Only if you give me a kiss. Good morning and welcome to Bosnia. Why is it so bright? I know, it's very bright. This is going to be a long day. Now this video will be a little bit different. We don't exactly have a solid plan. Normally we keep our videos per destination, but we're on our way out of Bosnia. Bosnia is getting hot. Everywhere is getting hot. We were supposed to sleep in a little national park parking lot last night and we had a incident. Uh, <laughs> We didn't film a lot, but I'll, 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 Lisa did film me last night when I was talking about it, so maybe I'll tell you what happened uh, just now. But this is the morning after the this night. This is the morning after the night before, <laughs> after you departed 11 p.m. and you tried to find a random place in Bosnia to sleep for the night. So, um, which is not the easiest thing to do at that point of time. I open park for nights and have a look, and the closest spot, which doesn't even have any reviews since three years ago, is 35 kilometers away and it's pitch dark. Yeah, so we pretty much just found a parking space in a, in a village closest to us. We are probably going to cross the border back into Serbia today, and we'll just take, take it as it comes, I suppose. No, no much, not much of a mission. We're probably going to head towards Novi Sad. Let's just hope we can find a nice peaceful place to have a good night's rest tonight. Yeah, I see a lot of cars coming in here, oh, no. so let's try and I get out. Let's get out Quickly. of here. Alright. Should be good. Yeah, nice. We'll be fine. Let's get out of here. Yeah, looks yeah, like looks quite a nice cool little, little town. town. Yeah, I would have liked to walk around a bit, but I'm sad. I think we should just hit the road and have some distance. friendly no problem to sleep here the caves open at 11 and the train leaves from here 10 30 tomorrow morning so you should have a nice peaceful night's sleep and nobody should be here before 10. Lisa there's a guy skulking around the van He's running away into the bushes. He's not even running, he's just like going into the bushes slowly. What do you say? Okay, let's move. Oh, this sucks so bad. Welcome to van life. Let's move. I don't think you can see anything, but we're absolutely in the dark. I really thought that there was security here all night. Alright, just be super careful now, love. Are we in the parking? Uh, we're in the parking, you're over it out. I mean, the parking it's ends fine. here. Oh, it's fine. We actually showed where we were parking, which we were supposed to overnight at like a natural natural park, no? A in national a national park. park. And it was quite nice, but we were just about to go to bed actually. It's 11 p.m. and I opened the blind and it was completely dark outside. There was nothing in the parking lot, but there was a shadow skulking around our van. And I don't know if you saw me, because the lights were off so I was watching it and he moved away and then he moved back again and then I jumped out with a, my torch and I chased after him he skulked away into the bushes very calmly 
Um, and creepily. Creepily. It's very creepy. I don't know what to make of it, but I went back and I checked the guy and I saw him skulking around the, on the hill there. And then I said, no, let's go. I just want to double check the writing on this parking, but I think we can stay here until 7 a.m. Let me go check quickly. Welcome to our channel. We're Andre and Lisa. Over the last 20 years, we have traveled together to more than 40 countries. Five years ago, we embarked on a long-term sabbatical and have been nomadic ever since. For most of the past two years, we have been exploring Western Europe with our motorhome. This year, we plan to make our way through more of Europe towards Denmark for summer. We'll be heading south for winter and just maybe make it to Morocco. So hit that subscribe button and join our adventure. Crossing the border. The guy was here. Be nice. We didn't even try to see a lot of it, but what we saw was amazing. It's a, uh, it's a lot greener than I thought. It's mountains, a lot of rivers. Right beautiful. Then turn left. We'll be back. That's for sure. We'll be back. But now we're back in Serbia, and this is also a passing through mission on the way north. Well, we're not in yet. <laughs> <laughs> see if they let us in. <laughs> So now just past the bus station. Oh wow. Oh, it's, uh, it's oh wow, okay. okay. Good job, man. Good for now, this will do, even if we just chill. Dogs are coming closer. Now sometimes we joke and say that the rain and the lawn mowers follow us no matter where we go. <laughs> but we're not kidding. We parked up here now. And of course it's a serious lawn mower party. Four guys with four lawn mowers have just arrived. A beer full of beer, which is always a good sign. And have started mowing along this river. It's really rather entertaining. Some photos are being taken and uh, I'm guessing that this is just a local community. Pretty cool! <laughs> anyway, we're waiting for the sun to dip a little bit because man, it is hot, hot, hot. Grass cutting is almost done and now we've been invited to go for a swim. Apparently this is actually public land but nobody comes to do anything and there's snakes here. So everybody wants to come hang out at the river. But the snakes cause a hassle, and that's why they come out here and cut the grass, I think, once a month. I didn't do anything, but they said I'm not more than for so... <laughs> Maybe they feel bad because of all the noise and the dust. <laughs> Marble swimming is not just go for a dip. No. This is going to be an interesting time. You, you get in in one place, <laughs> and you take the river to the other place. <laughs> that's why I'm going with them. <laughs> because this river is flowing. We have a friend from South Africa. And there from behind. I'm gonna say goodbye to you. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> wow. Oh, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Now I've got to run back <laughs> and find them on the other side. <laughs> Guys are way ahead of me over there. <laughs> and somewhere over there they get out. Try the pool. Oh. <laughs> How cool is that? <sighs> and beautiful, beautiful sunset. <sighs> 
Sometimes it's really the unexpected little things that can make traveling so wonderful an experience. We just met these guys who came to mow the lawn here. They invited us to first go and swim with them in the river and then have a beer. They could speak wonderful English and we could just chat and learn a little bit more about the country, about the area, what's happening here and just meet other people. I was really, really nice. So thanks very much to these guys. And now look at this beautiful sunset. Oh no, look at these guys jog jogging in the dirt. So much fun, yes. I mean, do me too, but oh yes, let's do it, ah oh, yes. He's like, oh, everybody's getting in on fun, guys. What is happening? Good morning, Dober Dan, and welcome to Dusty Donkey Festival 2023. Good morning, welcome to I have to apologize for our complete ignorance of where we are, but yesterday afternoon, off we crossed the border, we pulled into this place and we actually got a lovely shady spot there. So we woke up this morning, super peaceful, it was a really nice night. The wind's blowing a little bit, but the weather forecast for the next couple of days, no, actually the next week is insane. 38 plus degrees all over this part of Europe. Yeah, we're really not quite too sure what to make of this whole heat wave situation because it just is far too hot to be going and sightseeing. That'd be crazy. Well, summer is no joke for living in a motor home. 39, oh, it's brutal, 38. Brutal, brutal. They were complaining with reason, it's blisteringly hot and we just don't know what to do. I mean, it sucks the fun out of everything. We are here now, we're probably going to go see no, we sad. We just have to say before we go, we're on our way actually. It's actually quite difficult to capture on camera and it's meeting people. Mm -hmm. And this place where we stopped now was another example. <laughs> this is clearly a place where local people come out, come and hang out, you know, during summer days. And we met some, some young people and they were so friendly, invited us for beers and a swim. And we just had lovely chats and it was really quite nice. It's just so nice to mm -hmm. hang out and chat to people and get to know people and a little bit about their lives here. There's a sad part to it because you keep saying goodbye to people, mm -hmm. you know, which is which is difficult <laughs> for this type of lifestyle. You know, everything is fleeting and in the moment. But one thing I've learned is yet again, try and say yes when opportunity presents itself. We were in the van, a bunch of people are rocked up and suddenly it's lawn mowers and it was hot we were so we were slightly frustrated because it was dusty and grass everywhere and we couldn't go outside it was just kept absolute mayhem we but felt like we just wanted a peaceful evening and then the guy said hey we're, we're done now we're really sorry why don't you guys come for a quick swim with us down the river and we'll drink a beer and and if we didn't say yes to that opportunity mm -hmm. in that moment then you wouldn't have you know, Mated the mm -hmm. meeting new people and making new friends so remember say yes that's the lesson eh Yes. See, look for the positive. So we actually are driving to Novi Sad. We were thinking of stopping. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I don't even know. Let's see what happens. Did you get water? Right. I gotta show you this. Today I'm that guy walking back to the van and then I see this. Hmm. <laughs> Oh dear, okay, that's uh, random. If I lost him, I wouldn't have even known. <laughs> Can't lose underwear, we don't, we need to, we don't have to done laundry in forever. Okay, we got water in a random building site, there was a tap. Ah, uh, check out, there's a bot the border right there. Novi Yeah, we decided this is the main road anyway. <laughs> so glad we did um, suspension up change grade thing. The iron is a couple of days from now we're going to fetch up uh, all suspension parts. After which we're going to tackle the best roads in Europe. <laughs> but we wouldn't know. Just to put it in perspective, the toll road 
main A1 road through Serbia is an excellent, excellent road. So if you do want to cover distance across Serbia, that's not a problem. We are just not on that road. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, look at the road! Oh. What the hell? This is the road on the bridge. Someone, <gasps> looks like someone no, uh, made look a, at this. Did a cake very poorly. Oh my god. Wait, I don't even think you can see it on camera properly. No. Oh, these are my sunflowers. Oh my god, this is it. These are the ones. Look at the sunflowers. I think it was in Italian here before us. That's uh, evidence of someone's coffee uh, grounds. No more for you. No more for me. Okay. Having a beer, trying to cool down. Wait, wait, he just arrived in, I mean, I think it's obvious, but it's like 7, p, uh, 7 p.m. My phone's complaining. It automatically switched to dark mode because it needs to cool down. Really? What's the weather look like tomorrow? Hey man, it's gonna rain tomorrow. No, it's not. 36 <laughs> degrees, 37 degrees. This is not hot tomorrow. Okay, we'll see. Hot, hot, hot. But it, that rain is all just because it's so hot. Maybe we should <laughs> search for an early morning outing. I want to go for like a two hour walk. And we're going to check out the castle. And maybe go across the bridge and go see the square. And then come back and decide whether we hit the road or not. The it's problem is we hard. have to be in Budapest before Saturday. Before 4, 4 p.m. Friday. Today is Wednesday, otherwise we have to be wait a weekend and I don't want to wait a weekend. We can sightsee tomorrow morning and drive across the border and then Friday morning go to Budapest. Yeah, but then I want to go get food tonight. I, I don't know if I have the energy though. I thought I'm saving you a cookie. What about your salad? You said you just improved our eating. I know I did. Oh, but Okay. Well, you know, salad with some with pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, back to Novi Sad. Early morning, good night's sleep. We're gonna take a quick walk down to the maybe the old fort section through the park and check out the town a little bit. We're not gonna hang around, so don't expect a comprehensive tour of Novi Sad because it's gonna be 36 degrees in two hours. I don't know, it feels like 36 degrees already. Uh, I mean, about a little kilometer's walk. Oh, it's just gonna be interesting to see what's going on here now. I think I'll let us in. Yo, it looks like Dubious. Like dodgy. You know what Novisad means? No, I don't. Do something. New city. New plantation. New plantation. Mm. The Danube is actually not that wide yet. It's only like 360 meters apparently. Now behind us, you can't really see it yet. It's the old fort Petraveradin. Oh, I'm so grateful for this wind. It's just cooling things down a little bit. Yeah, quite nice actually on the bridge. Very busy bridge behind us. We're walking across from the fort side to the city side. Now, interestingly, Novi Sad city is actually on the other side of this river. It's separated from the fort by the river and this fort side is not actually considered Novi Sad. The fort existed way before Novi Sad became a settlement. Archaeological digs show that there might have been human settlements as long as 15 to 20,000 years in this area. You can also see the influence of the Austro-Hungarian in all the architecture here. It's really quite noticeable. During the Hungarian period, Novi Sad's demographics completely changed. And actually there were more Hungarian speakers than Serbian speakers for a very long time. Okay, we're gonna walk across that way and we'll talk about this fort a little bit later. The shop's not even open yet. And this is already demanding ice cream. <laughs> what better way to start the day? Tiramisu ice cream and it really tastes like coffee. It's very, very good. Less than a euro, 100, what are these things called? Dinar. Dinars. All right, so we're in this mm. walking street. It's super early, shop's not even open mm. yet. Very so nice, peaceful around. atmosphere. So he's got a very interesting dress on. Mm. Heartbreaker. School mm. ruined my life. Boy. Wow. There's an ice cream shop, literally every second or third shop is an ice cream shop. A lot of restaurants. Looks like a very, mm. very nice street to mm. come check out when it's busy. Oh, 
very happy with my decision of ice cream for breakfast. This is the city square, or the central square as it's known. Super quiet, it's only 9 a.m. but the light is already so harsh, it's hard to actually capture anything decent. Oh, it's blistering. It's okay. really pretty and it's immaculately clean. It's quite a big city. There's, what, 340,000 people that live on Novi Sad proper. Across the river, there's probably another 300,000 people. The second largest city in Serbia, considered to be one of the seats of culture of Serbia. Now, interesting fact, that Novi Sad belonged to the Republic of Hungary for a while. Excuse me, sir, may I sit next to you? Only if you give me a kiss. <laughs> I can do that. I'm cheap like that. Excuse you. <laughs> Who's that cool, dude? I have no idea. It's an awesome statue. Wow. Ooh, it's got eyes. <laughs> oh boy. Do you trust me? I just know if this is a one-way dead end vibe. This is so cool. Never to be found again. Yo, inside this fortress walls. I told you we're gonna magically arrive on the other side. This is so crazy. The painting. Now the clock tower's hands were swapped. You can see the the big hand. It's actually the hour hand, the small hand, is the minute hand. And that is supposed to show the fishermen all the way down the Danube. Could see what time it is, but they still the hour. <sighs> now I wish I can say it's uh, pleasant. But it's 11 o'clock, no, 11.30. And it's not pleasant outside. Whew, it is hot. Oh, no, it's crazy. Man. A bit of a breeze up here at least. But so I'm glad we came up here. This is beautiful from here. It's all part of the old fortress. Wow. It's a massive, massive area actually. Hey, no! <laughs> no surprise to be all alone here. Yeah. Yep, nobody else is Everybody's crazy. Nobody else is already dead. And then we have to find our way back. Well, we have to go back. This is crazy. So we just quickly spent our last uh, Serbian dinar and we're going to get to the car and I think it's going to be 107 degrees in our car. I'm and actually, that's Celsius, not far nine. I'm actually too scared to even think about getting into that camp. Oh, okay, I shouldn't have cooked her, cooked her. <laughs> Sugar rush. Oh. Interesting situation. And I got nervous. I got nervous and we got three bottles of rock here. I was like, I'm gonna check on them because I don't wanna look like I'm hiding them. I'm gonna say all the you know, this is what we have. And then I accidentally knocked one and broke and it's just rocky everywhere. And I was like, I smell rock here. This is the crazy pot. And then I cut my hand. Hello. Hello. English, Deutsch, English, English Italian. <laughs> Anything to decor? No. Yeah. You wanna see the garage? No cigarettes. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao. Arrivederci. Wait, wait. So we stamped? Yeah, we are. We got our paper? 
Very good. He said ciao. All right, ciao. <laughs> Not so bad. We're dribbling Rakia through the customs. Uh, <laughs> We, we, we have nothing, we have nothing to declare. No, to we, we're licking Rakia. <laughs> but we're dribbling Rakia. I mean, I've heard of people filling their water tank with Rakia, but no, no, we filled our crate tank luckily, with Rakia. Luckily, it wasn't expensive Rakia. It's quite cheap Rakia, but still, but still. Anyway, we are out of Serbia. We don't need vignettes. We're good. We don't need exchanges. Well, we do need vignettes. We've got a vignette. We've got a vignette. <sighs> if you can, make sure you buy the vignette online because they're going to rip you a new one. Because if you don't have the local currency, they will give you a bad exchange rate on the Euro. We're gonna try and end this video here. Nope. It's so hot, so hot. We're sweating. We're gonna try and find a stop just here across the border, and we're probably gonna pick up our next video right from here. We have to make a dash across uh, Hungary. We have to pick up something very important and exciting. And exciting for our van in Budapest tomorrow, and then we'll just see what the next couple of days look like. So once well, again, no matter how hot you are. Click that subscribe button, smash the like button, share the video with a friend and leave us a comment. Say hi. Thank you for watching and we'll have a Rakia on you tonight. <laughs> and just for, that's why I got oh. my finger on Rakia. Luckily it's disinfected. <laughs> Guilty conscience. This one. <laughs> See you guys next time. Ciao.